New Volkswagen Golf GTE 2017 Review It's no hot hatch, but the facelift VW Golf GTE will be very cheap to run if your lifestyle suits it. Verdict 4 Star The recent updates to the Golf range do little to change our impression of the GTE. The extra cabin tech is beneficial if a little tricky to use, while the same again styling is unlikely to disappoint. The GTE is no hot hatchback, however, but it still impresses around town. If your lifestyle allows, it could be fantastically cheap to run. Of the circa 200,000 cars VW sold in the UK last year, nearly 77,000 were Golfs. Despite the rise of the SUV, it's still the brand's most popular model here. Almost all were sold with straightforward petrol or diesel engines, with only a small fraction of them going for electric or like in the Golf GTE hybrid power. It might not be a huge seller, but VW's UK team are hoping the GTE will rise to around 10% of total Golf sales by the end of this year. The government isn't going to make that easy, though, from April, the GTE, like most plug-in hybrids, will go from being tax-exempt, to costing £130 annually after the first year. Still, a company car user would still benefit from lower rates and tax avoidance isn't the only reason to buy the hybrid Golf. Many will be swayed by the promise of up to 156 mpg, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, and a 20 mile all-electric range. Like other 2017 Golfs most of the updates are visual, and even those are verging on unnoticeable. There are new LED headlights with the familiar blue strip neatly integrated into the lenses, as well as revised bumpers front and rear and lightly tweaked tail lamps. VW claims the design changes are slight so that owners of the current model don't feel shortchanged, but that means there's little incentive for them to trade up, either. Thankfully, there's more to talk about inside. As standard, the GTE now comes with an 8-inch SAT NAV and infotainment system, 2 inches larger than before, but our test car came with a new 1,325 pounds Discover Pro system. It gets a 9.2-inch screen, voice control, a 64 GB hard drive and 3 years subscription to VW's CarNet online services. It's also the brand's first model to come fitted with gesture control, with a left or right swipe of the hand allowing you to change the radio station, for example. It's a bit of a gimmick to be honest, and not a very impressive one at that. The gesture functionality is limited and more often than not it doesn't actually respond to your input, so you're far better off just prodding the screen. The removal of the physical buttons around the side of the screen is a backward step for ergonomics, too, while the glossy finish shows up fingerprints. At least the hardware is quick to operate and the display looks far crisper and clearer than ever before. VW also throws in the brand's active info display digital instrument cluster as standard. It's not as tidy to look at as Audi's virtual cockpit, which is a shame, but it's as slick and useful as ever. It can also flick instantly between revs and battery power depending on which power source you're using. The GTE's powertrain is unchanged, meaning you get a 1.4-liter turbo petrol engine mated to an electric motor and a combined system output of 201 bhp. There are various modes to allow you to save, use or charge the batteries, as before. It's superb around town, pulling away silently from the lights with a watt of on-demand electric torque making it feel nippy in a straight line. However, the powertrain isn't quite as convincing on the open road. Like its predecessor, the new GTE seems to hold onto gears for way too long, and it doesn't deliver anything like the rev-happy flexibility or sporty sound of a GDI. The extra weight of the battery's blunts responses in the corners, too, and there seems to be more road noise and less composure than in a regular Golf. Except the GTE isn't a true hot hatch, however, and it's easier to overlook its dynamic foibles. Drop the pace a little and it's a capable, swift family car that has the potential to be extremely cheap to run. Key Specs Model, 
Volkswagen Golf GTE Advance. Price, £29,635, Inc. Government. Grant. Engine, 1.4 liter turbo petrol plus electric motor. Power, 201 bhp. Torque, 350 nm. Transmission, 6 speed automatic, front wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.6 seconds. Top speed, 138 miles per hour. Economy, 156.9 mpg. CO2, 40 g slash km. On sale, now.